Uh, hello. Is that Robert? Yeah, hello there. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Mark. Um, thank you. Um, I appreciate you getting back to me. Sorry about the Zoom call. I do apologise about that. That's okay. No, I I realised that um, I didn't have my Zoom account, and um, I just wondered whether you were on Zoom. So, not to worry. I'm, I'll try and get something sorted out. We can perhaps yes. meet up. And, and so you're um, you're actually studying some of our lit literature. Is that right? Um, yes. Um, I've been looking at it for several years now. I'm very familiar with JW.org, and I've been been able to do quite a lot of um, searches on your website. Oh, right. Yeah. What's prompted you to do that? Well, I've been studying the Bible for many years. Oh, um, okay. I used to be an evangelical Christian, but I no longer have anything to do with them at all. Um, I've, been, I, I've been looking at um, your little yellow book, What Can the Bible Teach Us? And then what um, it was reprinted in a grey format with a slightly different title, wasn't it? Yes, it was. That's right. Yes, yes. And then now you have Enjoy Life Forever. I've been looking at a lot of your literature. I mean, at the moment, I'm looking at something that I scanned into my computer. I was looking at that as you phoned. It's um, the Knowledge Book. I don't know if you're familiar with that from the 1990s. Oh, yes, I'm very familiar with it. There's a picture of Jehovah on his throne on page 132. Right. And it is a little bit strange because... I remember when I was a kid, you could have various magazines and you'd fold the pages and you'd see hidden him and hidden images that would appear when you fold the pages. Well, when you fold that page and you miss out the middle half of the picture, so you just have the two outer quarters, you very clearly see a, a skull on top of a pyramid. I was kind of a bit shocked, you know, that there's a sort of hidden image deliberately put in the magazine. It's page 132. Uh, I was kind of shocked. Oh. I, I don't have a hard copy of the knowledge book. So I don't really, uh, because uh, as we've moved more and more online, most mm. of our literature is, so the older publications, I tend to look at the, the online version, which is still available to us. Mm -hmm. So I can't see that. I have no idea what that's referring to. Mm. The rest, I thought just very odd. I just wondered what was the point of that. Well, there uh, wouldn't be any. Right. Well, um, so I, I, re I really don't know. I'll try and get hold of a copy and have a look at it. Yes, it's page 132. Yes, yes. Um, I'm actually charging something up at the moment, so I don't have the phone connected to the computer, so I'm not actually on the internet at the moment. No. I, I no. tether off a phone, which means I've got the internet. It's a little bit slow, but it works. It works fine. Yes, yes. Fine for me. Um, yeah, I, I mean, there's also a couple of other images that I found a bit strange. Um, the Revelation, its grand climax at Handbook, you know, the big red one? Yes. And page 159 has Jehovah's hand, and yet buried in Jehovah's, the palm of Jehovah's hand, you can quite clearly see a face. It's definitely not accidental. And I thought, what's yes, the point I, of that? I have, I have to say that I've never seen these things. And it's nothing that we would knowingly put in our literature because it would have no significance. Mm. So I, I really don't know. Okay. Uh, okay. I can't answer that. Um, we, our art department, don't spend any time at all trying to put hidden messages uh, or anything of that nature. Uh, everything we do is open. Uh, our kingdom halls are open. Our literature is open. Um, but we are not a secretive organisation. So you, you might remember some rock bands years ago used to put subliminal messages uh, underneath their music. We don't do anything like that at all. Uh, we have no interest because it is of no value to us. Mm. It, wouldn't, it wouldn't produce anything. You, I, you don't think some of these things might be deliberate and other, others might be done for a joke, but there is a, a purpose to it. I mean, I, I, just another one is the Watchtower for the 1st of November 1989, page 10. And it's two, it's two people, it's a man and a woman outside a cinema. 
and you yes. see a, a role of old-fashioned cinema film. Yes. But when you go to the cinema itself and you see the trailer for the film that's showing, mm -hmm. um, and you blow it up, you have to blow it up quite a lot because it is very, very small indeed. It's in yellow. Um, it reads Jest, J-E-S-T, T-U-P-S, through daily. Well, a jest is a joke, isn't it? Yes. And through daily means done every day. But yes. But T-U-P-S has no meaning. Well, so what date was that, the 1989 Watchtower? Yeah, 1st of November, 1989, page 10. So it says jest, tups, which means nothing, through daily. But when you go to the second word, tups, T-U-P-S, if you reverse T-U-P, but you leave the S where it is, you get put, puts, jest, puts, through daily. Yes, the problem is the, the online versions don't have any pictures. Uh, um, just, oh, OK. Oh, that's, a, that's a picture on page 13, is it? It's page 10, 1st yeah. of November, 1989. Yes, I'm in that. Yeah. Yeah. One minute, let me just check this. Or rather, if you put the S onto jest, it then reads, yes. and you reverse P T U P, it then reads jests, which means jokes, put through yes. daily. Yeah. I mean, well, it's hardly again, a coincidence. It, it, it's, it would have no significance. I have no idea what it's referring to. Right. Um, and there would be no point because basically. The information is what's on the page. Um, and what prompted you to look at all this? Um, well, I, I heard that there were images in Watchtower publications. Um, so I thought I'd spend some time looking at this. I mean, I'm really interested, to be honest with you, the 1919 date. I'd rather talk about that now, if you don't mind. The 19 okay. date, uh, 1919. Just, just one last thing. There's a songbook, Sing for Jehovah. It was published in 2008, and yes. on, the, on the back cover in the bottom left, you have a, a black man and a black woman. Yes. And there's something in front of the black woman. Well, the black man and the black woman, there's something in front of um, them, which I don't think is a hand. Uh, and then in the later editions, the black man was removed and a white man was inserted okay. instead. Yes. And there clearly is, uh, whatever was in the early edition was replaced with the white man's hand. I, I just don't get it, you see. I don't really understand it. Well, no, and I don't. And I don't even get why anybody would be looking for these things, to be honest. Mm. <laughs> I well, I have spent so. a lot of time. OK, well, look, look, thank you. Thank you. Sorry, so, sorry to... That just intrigued me. I was just curious about that. Um, the 19... I could either look at the 1919 date or, or um, your book, Enjoy Life Forever. I've been reading chapter 13 about warfare and politics, that true religions don't meddle in warfare and politics. Which of those two topics would you like to look at? Because maybe we should look at only one. Right. Well, let's look at that lesser one. Okay, I'll read it. I've got Enjoy Life Forever, page 55. Yeah. It's the start of section two. It's lesson 13 and paragraph two. I'll read it. Um, false religion does not treat people... Sorry, just before you go on, I've just found my way to that publication. Could you just repeat the pages for me? Yep, it's page 55, it's the start of Lesson 13. How right. False Religion Misrepresents God, Lesson 13. Um, yes, yeah, very good, yeah. And yeah. it's it's paragraph 2. Yes, got that. Um, shall I read it or do you want to read it? No, that's fine, read it out to me. False religion does not treat people as Jehovah does. The Bible says that false religion's sins have massed together clear up to heaven. For centuries, religions have meddled in politics, supported wars, and caused or approved the death of countless numbers of people. Some religious leaders enjoy a lavish lifestyle and demand money from their followers to pay for it. These actions prove they do not even know God, yet alone have the right to represent him. It seems to be quite emphatic in saying that if a religion has any involvement, if it meddles in politics, or if it supports the wars of this world, 
then that religion cannot represent Jehovah God. In other words, they're a false religion. I mean, would yeah, that be right? Yeah. Um, there's an awake that I found from 1993, which says the same thing, but a little bit more harshly. It's the 22nd of April, 1993. It's page six. Yes. Let me just blow it up because I'm getting old and my eyes, I don't see very clearly. <laughs> um, so it's the awake. It calls the churches that support warfare pawns of Satan the devil, which I thought was a bit strong. Rather than encourage love... Well, why, why, why would you find that strong? It's a... You couldn't disagree with the sentiments in the paragraph that you read to me, could you? Well, let me let me let me read that awake to you, so we're yeah. on the same page. It's the twenty second of April, nineteen ninety three, page six. Rather than encourage love for one's brother, the churches have supported and even promoted the killing of one's brother in war. Thus, they have become pawns of Satan, the devil, just as assuredly as were the religions of the ancient Egyptians, Assyrians, Babylonians and Romans. So it does seem quite emphatic in saying if there's any involvement in warfare for any reason, then yes. those religions are pawns of Satan, the devil. Yes. Yeah. But but what I don't understand is that the Watchtower has had a long history of involvement in warfare and politics. Even the Watchtower well, itself admits to this. Well, it depends when you're going back to. Well, quite some time to the First World War. In the First World War, when Rutherford knew he was about to be arrested and go on trial, in the Watchtower of the 18th of May 1918, and that's page 6257 of the Green Reprints, Rutherford, um, Rutherford promoted the purchase of the Liberty Bond, also known as the Liberty Loan. He told his American readers to, to purchase Liberty Bonds, Liberty Loans, to support the American war effort. So, so they were doing so, what all the other religions did. They were supporting the American military in the First World War. Even if they weren't fighting with guns themselves, they were still supporting the military. Yeah, so you'd need to understand what's what's been going on here. Uh, as a as an uh, as a group or an organisation, Jehovah's Witnesses, of course, they weren't known that then. Studying the Bible from about the eighteen seventies, and their purpose was to determine the truth of the Bible. And it's really been like a journey. You need to understand that all of those. Uh, uh, what we call them witnesses, they, they weren't known as that at the time. Those early witnesses uh, were seeking to ascertain, they, they realised that the church didn't have the truth. And of course that's true, because from about the 3rd and 4th century, uh, the, the, uh, the so-called Christian religion, uh, by that time apostatised from true Christianity, the apostles and Jesus warned that there would come into the congregation oppressive wolves. And after the death of John, as the centuries proceeded, um, the, uh, the Christian congregation lost its identity, principled because of the rising of the clergy class. Now, by the, uh, the third and fourth century, particularly in the time of Constantine, Many false teachings came into the church, and it really no longer represented the truth taught by Jesus and the apostles. So these early Bible students in the 1870s were really coming out of a very dark period that had really kept people in darkness spiritually for centuries, and of course many are now. In fact, many have no interest in spiritual things because they've seen through the church. So in those late... Uh, um, uh, uh, 1900s and the early 20th century, the issue of neutrality hadn't become fully established in the minds of the witnesses. It's something that was they were progressing to understand. And of course, like many other things, such as the cross and uh, Christmas and other false teachings that come from uh, pagan, um, paganized Christianity, um, these these things became clearer and as soon as they became clear um the, the witnesses made adjustments through this uh, through that time period uh, and corrected their understanding yes but anyone could say that christadelphians mormons catholics anglicans everyone well, can say we are refining our belief 
well, you can't tell me that um, you've not learned anything in the time that you've been on this planet and adjusted you for you. Well, yes, but everyone, but then that argument could be applied to anyone. There's no such thing as a false religion because every every false religion just has to say we're just making adjustments. Well, yes, but Catholics they don't do make adjustments. I mean, so, where do you stand on the issue of neutrality? Well, I do have a stand on it. I would probably not fight in most wars because I think they're just fought for economic reasons. I don't think they're fought for moral reasons. If I lived um, 80 years ago during the time of the Second World War, and my, if I had a family, which I don't, and my family were on the cattle trucks sent to Auschwitz, then yes, I would be fighting, hopefully, against the Nazis. Because I, well, I do believe that that Jeho was a moral... Jeho Could I finish? You, I, I know that, I'm sure you know this. Could I finish? Jehovah's, Jehovah's Witnesses... Uh, maintain neutrality no uh, no they didn't i was about could i just finish rutherford during the first world war rutherford we don't have photographs of this by the way unfortunately yeah. but it is referred to in quite a few um reference works and books rutherford um joined catholic priests and protestant clergymen during a national day of prayer praying for america's victory in the first world war he did this on a raised platform praying with catholic priests and protestant clergymen so I think at the time there wasn't really much difference between the Bible students or international Bible students, as they were called, and the other groups. Yes, but, uh, well, there was, because why was it that, why was it that the, uh, the Catholic action and the other religious groups conspired against them? So there was a difference. There was no doubt a difference. And that's that's well documented in newspapers and the like. But through the ages, through through the decades, Jehovah's Witnesses have well established their credentials. Our brothers in Malawi were bitterly persecuted because they would not buy a political card yes, in the nineteen sixties. Yes, but Our these brothers in Nazi could, could I could I could I just no, 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 comment? No, no, you can't. No, you can't. I'm coming oh, back at you. Uh, our brothers in Nazi Germany. Uh, you're kind of a preaching Germany, at me, and it's not a two-way dialogue. It's a, you're, you're kind of preaching at me, and it's not a two-way dialogue. Well, I listen to you. Well, you listened to me for about to, fifteen seconds, and then you interrupted. Could I? Could I respond to what you say? Could we have a two-way dialogue? Well, no. I want to ask you a question. What is the point of this conversation? Well, I want to understand warfare because well, you the, see you see, you I, see I, 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 you I said I want to understand warfare and you interrupt me yeah. I can't finish now, my sentence you're, now you're interrupting me no so, I I'm, you asked me a question I said I'm trying to understand warfare I got four words out and then you interrupted me could okay. we have a two-way dialogue where where well, you allow me to finish the sentence please as I yes. listen to you politely when you talk for about three minutes non-stop well I did the same to you you see, I doubt your motives. I think, I think you presented yourself at the start as a sincere truth seeker that wanted to engage, but I actually think you come with your mind made up and all you're interested in doing is tearing down what God has built up. So what I'm going to do now is cease this conversation very respectfully because I don't think that, that there is really any purpose to it. You're going to run away. I'm not running away. I promise you I'm not running away. Well, then then so, why don't you so man up? Why, why don't you let to, me speak? To, can I have my say, please? You've talked. Well, can I have my say, please? Can we have a two-way conversation, please? Well, you can, you can finish, yes. Yeah, thank you. Um, today, the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society of New York gets shared dividends from arms companies through the Henrietta and Raleigh Trust. You can check this out on the IRS tax that. records. You phoned me, me about that two months ago. Yeah. And you didn't respond, so could you please I, I respond did now? I respond to you. I gave you a very full answer. So what I'm going to do... Because what I is your answer? Your notice, I, I'm going to now terminate the conversation. I don't want to put the phone down in you, so I'm explaining what I'm doing. Thank you. Bye-bye.